Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. As we're heading into a new trading week, Bitcoin just consolidating sideways. Bitcoin is still on vacation as it seems, which is fine. Um, I think we've got an exciting week ahead of us. Yeah, we have uh, really interesting movements across the market. Bitcoin cannot even get into the main support area. I will take this one out though. Um, this was really just to show you um, how the pathway directly higher could unfold. But if you understand the analysis and if you understand here the um, comments that I have made over the last few days, literally trend continuation is preferred, but I'm very neutral about whether we go up more directly or if we're just testing the support area again. It's just the same wave count. This wave four, this is the wave count. That's the assumption. The wave four can test the entire support area if it needs to, goes all the way down to 40,400 if it needs to. If we get a break below 40.4K, then, yeah, then we have to assume that a different wave count is happening. Well, actually, it's not even a different wave count. It would simply be confirmation that this third wave then has topped already um, a little earlier than expected. But actually, it's already pretty full, this move to the upside. It might get another move up. Um, that's what I'm primarily following on this time frame. None of what I'm telling you here would impact the daily time frame, the more meaningful trend and time frame at all. It's literally just the micro movements I'm looking at here because Bitcoin hasn't really done much throughout the weekend. Um, and then you need to understand, but I know you do, um, that a way four can take different, <clears throat> different um, patterns. Yeah, so a way four is oftentimes a sideways correction. So it can take, for example, the shape of a so-called flat structure, which would be three waves down in wave A, an overshooting B wave in this case, and then the price could come down in a five wave move in wave C. That's possible. That's one possibility. And then wave four would finish here and we could then start wave five. It is entirely possible, even though it would be a very weak wave four, that the wave four already bottomed. Let me make that a bit larger that the wave four already bottomed here on Thursday. It is a pretty clear three wave move down. We broke above the recent high, so it could be that already the next move up has started. But I haven't got clear evidence because the move up is only in three waves, which keeps the door open to lower. We always need to see a five wave move for clear assessment. Or if we now break above the last high, I would also confirm that we have bottomed here and that we're already moving up in wave five. It is technically possible that we're moving in a triangle. That's the third pattern that can develop here. Okay. Um, so as a triangle, but we haven't got enough waves for the triangle yet. We would be looking for a five wave move. A, B, C, D, E. We would now be in the C wave. If we are in the C wave, um, then what's often the case is that the C wave ends around the 61.8 extension, sometimes the 78.6. So, okay, we've already at the 61.8. Now let's take a look at the 78.6. And then we're looking at potential levels to watch here in a triangle situation at the area between um, 43,730 and 43,460. Now this is literally just micro price action you know we're just commenting basically on it right the support levels are very clear and we just need to let the market decide i'm fairly neutral about uh, do we get into the uh, into the support area again or not it would be ideal because it would give us a clearer way for yeah, in this orange abc structure but i'd be happy with direct continuation either way price action at the moment still suggests further trend continuation next into the region around 46 to 47k next and then possibly even up to 50k yeah um, at the moment my view is that one more high is likely before we start that larger fourth wave um, for various reasons i mean we can't even we can't even get to the micro support area okay so bitcoin shows at the moment um consolidation on the very high level that overshooting B wave, if it is one, is very bullish. 
because it um, indicates that the price actually wanted to run further, but it's still caught in the correction. Okay, so it's just still due to the previous trend, still quite um, a lot focused on the upside. So yeah, Bitcoin could drop quite a bit, but it's all part of this scenario. The assumption wouldn't change as long as the price holds above 40.4K. Tomorrow, yeah, in first video tomorrow, we're going to take a look at the daily time frame again for anybody who's new, yeah, or you just uh, go a couple of videos back. We also took a look at the daily and weekly time frame there for the greater context, but there's no point doing that if the markets haven't changed at all. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.